So the first step is you're gonna mix brown sugar and honey together. I'll leave measurements in the description box. I just kind of eyeball it. I've been making this for over 20 years now, so I just kind of wing it. But if you need exact measurements, I will leave them below. We're gonna let this warm up until the sugar dissolves into the honey. You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While our honey and sugar are cooking, we're gonna get the rest of the ingredients ready. You're gonna need some instant oats, some milk powder, and cinnamon. I always like to spray my pan with some cooking spray, that way it doesn't stick. Then we're gonna dump in the oats. We're gonna add in milk powder. Now I'm doing an extra large batch because I sell the granola in bags and then also I have yogurt parfaits this week on the menu. Just put that in and then we're gonna sprinkle some cinnamon. I like a good amount of cinnamon. Okay, and then we're gonna mix that up. Now the sugar mixture is ready. I always spray my spatula before I put that near that sugar mixture because it will stick. I still haven't brought my tripod in, so I'm just putting my phone. You just wanna make sure it's coated because you don't want it to stick. Now we're gonna pour our sugar into the oats. and we're gonna give that a mix. This is what it's gonna look like once it's mixed up. You can see there's some clumps in here. That's what is great for the snacking on and then when you're eating your yogurt to bite into that, it's so delicious. Now we're gonna pop that into the oven. And we're gonna let it cook for about five minutes. All right, our five minutes is up. Now we're gonna open this up and we're gonna give it a stir. Make sure you get around the edges because it likes to get brown over on the edges. I'm gonna mix it all up. minutes have gone by so we're gonna pull this out give it a mix and we're gonna pull it out of the oven now this is what our granola looks like it stays soft. It's so delicious. I'm gonna let it cool off now, and then I'll put it in a container. You can store it in a baggie, you can store it in a plastic container with a lid, and also glass jar works. Just, you wanna to try to keep the air out of it. So there you have it.